This is the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios worldwide on American Forces Radio. The room's just gotten significantly more handsome. Thank you. I knew one of you would say that. I'm talking about Kyle Kinane. Famous comedian is right here, and oh, that is, uh, you have always had one of the finest beards in comedy. I don't get handsome often, so I appreciate that yeah. very much. Kyle <laughs> Kinane sounds like a NASCAR driver to me. It does. It's yeah. got it's got a solid ring to it. Yeah, it sure does. It yeah. does. Hard, I always want to say Kikrimini after Kinane. <laughs> you got the alliteration <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, my first name's Christian, and my dad's always like, ah, spell with a K, it'd be hilarious. I'm like, your, your sense of humor is different than that. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure is. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you skew a little bit differently when you're <laughs> The there, oh, God. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know, that would be hilarious in a way. <laughs> to spell your name with a K? No, to, to Christian with a K. Is, yeah. that, is that how it's spelled in Denmark or something, though, anyway? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I'm not going to answer the questions about what my initials would mean. If that yeah. Was the oh, yeah. No, that's not where I was going. <laughs> Kyle Kinane is here with us. And, no, but that, you, you, you're one of the first guy to rock the beard. Uh, of yeah. this generation of comedians, and it's it's kind of made the made a comeback. It's a push up bra for my face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a ch- yeah. I, I have like a, that. Uh, now yeah. I can have any kind of chin I want. That's right. <laughs> yes, you can. You grow a beard, and it's like I got You're no chin. Right. I got yeah. nothing going on down there. You grow a beard, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a little pointy one, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like a, like an old timey villain. Yeah. <laughs> a big bushy one, like I could work with my hands. I can't. I have very soft hands. <laughs> But the just, face looks like I could build you a cabin. Covers just, jowls. You I, I, I just saw the, the pointy beard thing the other day. Oh, really? That scares me. You're, I mean, Kyle. Like the Three Musketeer uh, beard? Yeah. Kyle, Kyle nailed a it. It looks type. like you're a, you're, you're a evil. A Dutch master. I mean, this guy yeah. had the, like, 10-inch pointy <laughs> beard. Well, and you know you got to spend a lot of time on it. you got to work on Boy, it. Boy, I haven't seen a Dutch master beard. Oh, I know. I'd, I'd love to see that. Which one's the Dutch master? Also, yeah. <laughs> Just a cigar. Uh, very pointed <laughs> and, and long. Oh, uh, come on. Kind of like the big hat, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They also have big hats. Spanish That's explorer. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, I did see yesterday, we did our broadcast from uh, the casino. Jack in Cincinnati, we were there. Did you see the guy that had the braid? Yes. Had the beard coming out not. of it. Just had a chin beard, but it was braided, so it was about, I don't know. Did five, he have beads in it? Five inches that. long. Almost oh. Egyptian. Well, That's yeah. not he had a buddy, a biker buddy doing that. Because otherwise he'd get off his bike and then the beard would split in two. <laughs> and cut, like, like be sweeping <laughs> over his shoulder. I'm like, maybe you should just groom yourself at that point. You're going to get yeah. going for a whole look, but at this point... This is kind of gross to look at your face. <laughs> like your face is hard to look at. <laughs> See, I have a three-year-old. If I had a, a braided beard in the front, that would be just a handle to, sure. hi, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't have it for too long. God, that. <laughs> yeah, what, I never thought. That's probably a bit. That may, maybe a motorcycle thing. Then that makes sense. Hmm. I yeah, thought it was blown it all way. over. So you just like you know, just compress it into one <laughs> you know, odd phallic thing coming there, out of his face. A lot of odd looks out there. Is the beard appreciated by family and friends? I mean, at first, now now everybody's got a beard. Now it's like yeah. a thing. Like I said, you were. I don't. I can't remember another comic that walked in with it rocking a beard like yours. Yeah, because I don't have much to look at in the face, so I figure I may as well decorate it. You're a very handsome guy. Well, all right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not, not going to deny it. How, how are we doing up top there? You got a baseball cap on? Nothing's gone. It's gone. It's all gone. It's it's history. Yeah, that's that's okay. gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I made a lot of bad hairstyle choices in my 20s, and my hair was just like, yeah, we're going to get out of here. Yeah, I'm doing us any favors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you I'm say that? green? I'm gonna have a mohawk. I'm gonna have a pompadour. My hair's like enough of this. <laughs> yes, it's the full Mel Cooley, right, Tom? No, I have the foam. I take it off again. I'm sorry to make it. There's, uh, yeah, but he's got a little bit there. He's, he's uh, you know what? It, it's it's the insulting amount that's there. <laughs> but if I grow it out, I just look like divorced history teacher. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no re- like I wish it would just all go because the length that it's at now, if it's there, it's like. There, the only option is comb over, even if it's a self-aware one. Like I'm just putting it to one side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you got it very sharp. You still you're leaving it there. I have the full Mel Cooley, as they used to say. Did you finally just start shaving between, or did it just all go away? Uh, fair, fall question. Out. Fall out. <laughs> fair question. Fair question. Fair uh, question. I should explain to our guests. Because you had bangs for a long time. <laughs> now, yeah, you held on to, to the To be fair wall. to Kyle Kinane, those were attached to the hat. Calling them bangs. They were. <laughs> uh, no, and then, um, no, I had, the last time I got a cut, the woman, uh, she said, do you want to keep these? And she's kind of. These. She's kind of <laughs> blow, blow drying the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the Homer Simpson. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to <laughs> keep <laughs> these. And so I said, she oh, She was no. working for a tip. Huh? I said, I said, oh, take them off and then now the problem is now i have this cowlick 
Can you see these? I, little, yeah, I yeah, it's, it's, it, I see it. Yeah. So I, now I've got to go buy that gel or something to clamp them down. Do you still <laughs> go get a haircut? <laughs> That's what we said. I, I mean, you incredible dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so Kyle, you don't. You don't. You, you just do it yourself. I've, I've had a pair of clippers. <laughs> yeah. That was the thing. I was shaving my head in my twenties. And I'm like, I think I'm going to grow my hair out. And then it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> oh, I was like, I'll grow my hair out. And that's like, no, you won't. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I guess I'll just keep it. Because at least, at least I lost my hair early where I didn't develop a personality based around my hair. Because <laughs> you see guys lose their hair in their 40s and they're panicked. <laughs> I love good hair plugs. I love seeing somebody with good hair. Yeah. Plugs. I love bad wigs. Oh. I, I love a terrible toupee. Were you in the car with me when we were in Las Vegas and the guy's toupee blew off? And the, <laughs> you know, there's that there's that so. main street, that strip in Vegas where yeah. crossing, it's yeah. it's like it's like crossing a tarmac with jets on it. So when on the thing 110 goes, degrees. His wig, oh, yeah. I, would, I would laugh. Melts. It was incredible. <laughs> Incredibly hot. I'd laugh for an incredibly hour. Incredibly windy. <laughs> it was crazy hot. It was you like walking around in an oven. And uh, this guy had this terrible toupee, and it blew off, and he's running. He had to chase it. That's the funny. <laughs> that is the. That's yeah. my youth. <laughs> Yeah, it's my <laughs> yes. dignity. It's easier to cross Broadway and Times Square than to cross the Strip. In oh, Vegas. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, Vegas. And Boulevard. this guy's ki- running after his toupee. No, I do love a bad toupee, but I also love it when. No, I, I have a friend who, <laughs> who uh, unbeknownst to anyone, decided he was getting a toupee, and I ran into him at the county fair. Yes. All right. Hadn't seen him in a while. He walks up. And, a, and you're delicate. You're, no, yeah. sorry. So, you're no, but, adroit in conversation. There is there is no way to go. What do you, uh-huh. you you can't say, okay, he knows that I know. Oh, I would have to say something. And then I'm not going to say, hey, Rick, that is a that is a nice. Uh, Rick, huh? Yeah. This is, a, this is your true story. I think you're gentlemen. allowed to. I think you're allowed to go, oh, you're rocking the rocking a wig now. Well, I would. I respect somebody. Like, if you want to get plastic surgery or something, this is your vehicle for your life. Customize it how you want to customize it. Yeah. You get one go at this life. <laughs> but don't lie about it. You're right, right, right. right. Well, that was a quote about Brett Michaels from Poison. Like, so I was like, is that hair real? He's like, no, it's the nicest hair money can buy. <laughs> like, oh, you're obvious. You're, you're going to announce like, yeah, it's fake. And I spent a lot of money on it. So thank you for appreciating it. <laughs> yes. Like, he's been, more he's, power He's too. been here a bunch. And he's, yeah. got, he's, he's got, not only, he's got the hair, he's got the bandana. Well, it's because he has to bandana. hide the top. He's going to hang it up here in a minute, I bet. You I, think I he's going to just The hair? You go. think it's going to go? 2019. He's going to no. go skull it? No. Uh, he's going to Agassiz it. You uh, wait and see. David Lee Roth seems like he's still working with the yeah, wisp, yeah, he's the, the wispy it, remnants. Yeah. yeah, he's trying but to comb it over. David Lee Roth can do whatever he wants in my book. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Right. He wants to do a giant, like... Wig, I'm like, go for it, Dave. You've yeah, he was. It. He's been here too. Yeah. Uh, Diamond Dave. Uh, with Diamond Dave had oh. twice, and he had on the he had a, he had a ball cap on both times. Yeah. Didn't I've he never seen he a more once? I've never Did seen a more terrified entourage than David Lee. True. Yes. Really? Oh, Absolutely. Like they, muscle? They were, no, 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 no. They were scared of what David would do. Or, oh, they were scared uh, they of were, him. They were yes. nervous, <laughs> of David, and uh, yeah. I absolutely <laughs> agree with you. On Could that. clean house at any minute. <laughs> it's, it's the feeling I got. Yeah. David has that really short cropped gray hair now, like. Oh, he's, he's got it uh, like a... Oh, yeah. in that photo he does. Yeah. Oh, he's... Yeah. yeah, he looks kind of scary there, actually. Ah, it's Diamond Dave. He's I know, I know. <laughs> oh! Love Diamond Dave. Oh, we're, we're talking about, uh, for no particular reason, uh, David Lee Roth. Uh, comedian Kyle Kinane hanging out with us. And um, What would it take to, for you to go the Ben Franklin route? The skullet? Ooh. Yeah, the Ben Franklin. Well, yeah. let's see. I'd have to be in a coma. Uh. Uh, <laughs> Come on. And living alone. Uh, People in comas have hairstylists, don't they? There's a, somebody who goes around. <laughs> Somebody's got a comb at least. Yeah, yeah like somebody, they, somebody. They, if there's a comb nails? award, I bet somebody comes in and clips their nails and does and does their hair. And, and the weird thing is, I bet they're really oh. chatty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kyle, glad to see you're still breathing. I tell you what, did I tell you what happened to my sister yesterday? Uh, I what do you start for a living? I'm a hospice stylist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard on the soul. What the hell are we it's doing very hard on the soul. Okay, do you want to hear? Patients are the most interesting. Do you want to hear a true story? No. Here we go. <laughs> I can't use any names here, but it's someone that uh, was it Rick again? Some, some of us know, <laughs> lady, Rick. yes, uh, hairstylist, and yes. one of her clients uh, was um, uh, uh, at the point where she knew she wasn't going to be around here too much longer, mm-hmm. and she said, "Would you please, when that moment comes, would you please do my hair?" Yeah, oh, okay. I, I know exactly what you're talking. Oh, about. yeah. And she, did she do it? Yes. Yeah. And but she went oh, when she went over to the funeral home, and. Um, uh, as she was doing the hair washing part, 
and something went quite wrong, and things were slipping and sliding, and it was uh, quite quite awkward. That's, uh, that's that's too vague. I, what what, what, what <laughs> well, you want to know more at this when hour. you when you when you, you have sick, to, when you have to when you have to call for help because the decedent is about to fall off the table. Okay, oh. that's what's happening. Going All right, to the yeah. sink. Yeah. yeah. Well, because the funeral parlor, the people that the morticians also have to be beauticians. That's right. Yeah. They have to have like that's a dual skill. Yeah. Like oh, I got to learn. Hair and makeup. Yep. Oh, why are you going into fashion? Nah, just dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be done. But again, uh, you, that's not the one if you're chatty. No, no, no. Although I'll I get a full makeup job. I'll go out and full kiss makeup. Nice. Yeah, surprise them, you know? <laughs> no, oh, this, boy, have oh. you hit a nerve, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, uh, uh, Kyle, I'll bring up the topic. Uh, Ace Cosby, our engineer, how many KISS shows have you been to, Ace? Uh, around 300. About 300. Oh, around 300. <laughs> you know exactly how many. Yeah, and uh, Well, it's less than 300, but... Oh. Oh, but, right. uh, w w Which uh, one? A Which one do you go out as? No, he is the child, the cat. See, here's the thing. Well, I, 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 Ace and I are going to the show because this is the final tour, so we're going. And if someone suggested we do the makeup. I'm not really too keen on that. <laughs> and Ace has also opted out. Um, I really? Well, I always thought like out of out of Kiss, I always thought like Peter Chris must have showed up late. Like they already picked the personas. <laughs> yep. Uh, like, we got enough left for a cat. Because <laughs> all the other ones are so cool, like m monsters and demons and star child. Like, I'm a, I'm a cat. <laughs> like, you really got stuck with the cat thing. They're like, you're stay behind the drums. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Kitty cat. Yeah, the cats don't get full pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, they don't. <laughs> or, the, or the fox. Or the, or the, the uh, Let's yeah, ask the Kyle, can he, before we get to our tool of the week, Kyle, uh, best rock shows you've ever seen, I'll give you some latitude. How about uh, any five? Best, best you've ever seen shows live ever shows. Seen. Oh, saw Seeger live a few years ago. Great. I think I still go. He, he sure still, is. I think this was the final one. This was the final yeah, one. Yeah, Chick and I went two years ago or loved it. Yeah. Loved right. it. You did the Bob Seeger <laughs> dance? He does From do that. From one yeah. side of the stage. That's right. <laughs> yeah. and cheer. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> kind of stomp over. Uh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's out He's out right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Uh, dressing like dressing like a dad at Walmart still. <laughs> Those like white New Balances. Yes. Yep, that's him. That's his I held a door for him at a McDonald's. That sounds right. That sounds like the most <laughs> seriously. His, his kids and my kids were in there at the same time. And first thought, is that Bob Seger? Then I looked in the parking lot. Wow, those are really nice. Did tacos. you ask yourself, is that a woman or a man? <laughs> <laughs> same old cliches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Anybody mistaking Bob Seger for a woman at this age? No, no, he yeah. looked great. No, he looked great. He was he was fantastic. So uh, that's uh, Bob Seger. Bob Seger's great. I saw. Um, very pleasantly surprised with this uh, latest run at Guns N' Roses shows. Really? I thought they Reviews were, doing... were really good, weren't they? The, what, was the reviews were real yeah. good. Yeah. Well, it's the old timers coming back and knowing they're not going to hit the notes they used to. So they'll do it in a register. Like, Axel's not going to do the, you know, the... Yeah. Yay, yay. So right. he's going to hit it lower, but Slash is still doing good. Slash has a pacemaker. Oh, I didn't know that. Didn't Slash know. has a pacemaker. <laughs> That dude up there wailing, still looking good, shirtless at whatever age. Also has a machine in his chest that keeps him alive. Was Axel on time? Axel was on time. He, he, yeah, the show started on time. Really? That okay. Was, uh, That's a, a step up. I was surprised. I was counting on it starting late. I showed up late. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aim low. <laughs> You're running out of people to be here in the room with you. Yeah. <laughs> I checked out. You know that? You're right. There's the very handsome Ace Cosby, the our, our engineer. I'm always here for you. What? Yeah. Uh, the Napa Auto Parts Studios, home of the Napa Tool of the Week. This week's tool was that guy that crammed an orangutan into a suitcase trying it's to smuggle out. We didn't hear the great. mo though. He it was his his he want his buddy wanted to raise a exotic animal because he's insane. <laughs> that's oh, Josh, that's like... Christy, I'm Tom. That's Kyle Kinane, the great comedian is here with us. I know that yeah, he wasn't selling story. it to like an underground supper club. Well, no. It wasn't like the orangutan had a rough life and he's like, I'll save you, buddy. Yeah, he oh, would... but I don't think I can get a plane ticket for you. <laughs> no, so so we got to do a real Dunstan checks in kind of situation. <laughs> yes. yes, what's sad is that some, dr it's a bad some drunk guy <laughs> some drunk so. guy can buy one on, on the black market while drunk in Bangkok or whatever. If it was Malaysia, I think you could just take them. I think it was. <laughs> They're just well, on I, the street. I don't have the story. That's a Kyle Kinane comedian. Why do they have trouble with monkeys like that? You can't eat outside because there's monkeys everywhere. Kuala, everywhere. I was in Kuala Lumpur last Kuala Lumpur, year, and they had yeah. monkeys that would just, yeah. people would be like, oh, let me get a picture with this monkey, and then would take your phone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Son would they take your picture gun. first? Yeah. No, they steal, your, they steal your credit card information. See wow. monkeys with a good watch? Oh, that's nice. Uh, Planet of the Apes, baby. Uh, no, I, I, Kyle, I want to ask you something. We were talking off the air about uh, 
doing stand-up comedy, being on stage, and sometimes uh, maybe things aren't going well, and I asked if you had a go-to piece, but I want to change the topic here. Uh, I've asked this of many a comedian, and I always, often find the answer interesting. Do you have a uh, do you have a, a, a something that you you like that everyone else hates? Uh, Most of my act. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a pod. laughs> All right, sir. Ninety percent of what I try for the first time is like, oh, that's because I laugh. I, I, we were talking. Uh, we talked on several occasions to uh, George Carlin, mm -hmm. very distinguished comedian, sadly gone, um, and. Uh, uh, I, it, the interview I was sort of thinking wasn't really going that well. He was, I don't know, tired or whatever. We weren't getting a lot out of him. And mm -hmm. I asked him that, and he all of a sudden, he lit up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And he launched, and it was a really funny piece. But for some reason, he'd been advised by everyone not to do it, or the audiences hated it. Oh. Do, you, do you have any, anything? It makes you want to do it more. <clears throat> well, in your case, certainly. I just have one joke. No, I just say, I'm like, I bet you when Mexico turned 15, that party was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody seems to jump out of that one. joke. It's just a quick one. It's yeah, a it's quick, quick. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Those it's are famous. Joke. Yeah. That's Normally a great think, joke. People don't like that? I, don't, I think it's because it's between these long, drawn-out stories, and I'm just like, ah, see, I still got it. I still got a quick <laughs> one in me. I can throw a zinger at you. I think also people are so, they're so afraid of being, oh, my God, that... Is that somehow insulting to someone anywhere at is all? It, yeah. Is Good, it racist? Yeah. No, it's a fact yeah, people, that if you're yeah. Mexican and you turn 15, you have a big party. <laughs> right. What about the whole country? <laughs> yes. That would have been the best party. Oh, I just went to one. God, they had a great band. Oh, yeah, you went to a quinceanera. <laughs> I just yeah. went to oh, yeah. they had and they had, they had a full horn section, so for me, I lost my mind. Right. Hmm. There were at least 12 guys guacamole. in this band. They, I mean, they had, you know, it was just <laughs> tremendous. <laughs> That um, might have been racist. Uh, but, yeah, that may have been, yeah. I'm going to rescue my nail technician, and they have great guacamole. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, this show's derailed. I do, again. I do one joke that I love where it's about how uh, Margaritaville is the saddest song ever written, <laughs> but only if you imagine Margaritaville as sung now from a Margaritaville restaurant. <laughs> 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 and that now those lyrics aren't like whimsical. No, just you know, some guy at a bar. Yeah, it's just some guy in St. Paul. <laughs> you know? There's like a pay less shoes across the parking lot from him. And he's you know. just crying into some popcorn shrimp about his wife. Oh. Yeah. There's, a, there's a sad strip mall with a tattoo parlor. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, yeah. we'll tattoo your senorita. <laughs> yeah. Wasting get away. Just, just, yeah. 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 A guy wearing flip flops in the middle of January. <laughs> Yeah, trying to explain what a pop top is to a 21 year old. <laughs> Wasted away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looking for my lost shaker of salt. They're on every table, man. What do you mean? Thank you very much. A great guest in the studio. He is one of the finest comedians out there. He is Kyle Kinane, born lucky to have a nice alliterative name. Uh, Born lucky. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you could be. You could have a name like Tom Griswold. Oh boy. And then pick of the woods. Yeah. And then you're 20 years old, and they make a movie where your last name becomes a punchline. Oh, I, I bet making hotel reservations. Always oh. So my God. first name is a punchline, so that's all right. <laughs> Kyle. What's wrong with that? Those are just jerks or nerds. <laughs> you think so? Thanks, yeah. Kyle. You know yeah. stuff like Look that. Like, yeah. You yeah. say it like that. Okay. Have a oh. joke like that. Like. like there's no old Kyles. Mm, wow, well, good point. I'm 42, so I'm enjoying every day. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kyle sounds kind of like you're on the playground yeah. back in the yeah. 80s. And Nobody goes to Grandpa Kyle's for holidays. <laughs> you may be True. right. You I know. am right. When did, that become, when did that become really popular? Was there Because usually there's a famous person with a name, and that's why it becomes popular. Well, I was born in 76, so that was like the era of... Was there a Kyle in a soap opera? I don't know. I, That's think, a good I question. think it showed up. I think it showed up like, you know, my hardly at all Irish parents. Like, we should give our children <laughs> traditional Irish names because, you know, we're one tenth Irish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, famous Kyles. Let's see. Let's see. You got your Kyle Bush. Sure. Your Kyle yeah. Chandler. Kyle Larson. Kyle Chandler, the actor. He's, yeah. He's yeah, a great actor. I really like that guy. Yeah. Uh, here's one for you, Josh. Kyle Turris. Ah. Hockey player. How old are these guys? God, this is a this is a I'm the oldest pretty one. light. Kyle Chandler's probably fifty. Light yeah. list? Is that what you're saying? There, yeah, it's not. I, I don't. Yeah, they I don't think, live long. I think that um, no, I'm not sure there are any really old Kyles. You may be right. I know I'm right. I'm a Kyle. <laughs> wow, he's there, lived with it. He's, he's living it. Yeah. Is there a Kyle Club? 
Kyle's die in their early 20s in free climbing accidents. <laughs> That's how Kyle's die. <laughs> the way the Lord intended. I can't find any old There's five Kyles, Kyles at the base of Half Dome right now. <laughs> yeah. They're just, they're just bones inside of Patagonia windbreakers. Boom. <laughs> That's where they're at. We can't reach them. <laughs> yeah, the hiker will find them after the, you know, everything thaws out over there. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of um. There's a lot of odd turns. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> mid, a lot of mid-level show busy Kyles here. Hey, I'll I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Kyle reminds me of the superstars for some reason on ABC when they had people the the networks competing oh, yeah. in it. There had to be a Kyle in there somewhere. Oh yeah, ABC, oh, wait, like the Circus versus, of the Stars thing. ABC, I used to love that. Yeah, kind of. But this was like track and field events, like ABC versus CBS. Yeah, it was like a, a neighbor on a sitcom. Yeah, was get Kyle. Reginald Vell Johnson on some uh, trapeze. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Conrad would uh, pick a fight with somebody from yeah. CBS. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of bringing that back. Are they? Yeah, network television, they're doing... Uh, they tried it a couple years ago. Thing. When's the last time you watched a show on network television? Uh, li like live? Because you don't not watch, live, you don't not watch ever. anything. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, they've got all these game shows. Ellen has a game show now. They've got all the stupid singing competitions and the dancing. They've got these mid-level showbiz people in the various competitions. It's coming back. I like Single Parents on ABC. It's a sitcom. Brad Garrett's in it. It's pretty mm -hmm. good. Uh, I like uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've mm -hmm. always liked that. And then I'm I'm still on This Is Us. Me too. This oh, really? is I'm us. hanging in there. And uh, you're on a you're on a big British kick. I, I do, I'm becoming British, whether you like it or not. Great British Bake Off. I know. I love that everything show. else. Show. I've I'm, never seen somebody milk that much drama <laughs> on a fallen souffle. <laughs> I'm watching that like it's forensic files. Like, are they going to catch the killer? You're just you're, this I mean, you're so right. That show is so well done, and it's the art direction's great. They're in a tent outside with uh, ovens. But you don't have to feel bad about yourself afterwards. You don't have to feel like I just watched nine hours of Law and Order. Why are they in a tent? <laughs> it's because I think they probably, someone brilliantly said, well, being inside a kitchen's really boring and not real pretty. Yeah. So they have these inside amazing- Inside a tent is yeah. pretty? Also, you got like 10 different ovens going at the same time. Sounds yeah. stupid. They yeah. tried doing it here in the States with uh, <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy was the host. They did the same thing. They put a big tent in the field. It's The art direction's amazing. It's really well done. The photography's great. I got to tell you about a couple things real quick before we move on. I wanted to mention, Kyle Canadian is at a brand new comedy club downtown, and uh, it's called Helium. And he'll be there tonight and tomorrow. You're not doing a Sunday show, are you? No, no. Okay. Fort Wayne, Indiana, Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, which club? The Tiger Room. Okay, cool. We'll, it's not we'll a club as much as it's just behind a bar. Okay, <laughs> fine. It's a, that's a nice room. My career's had. growing, going great for a mid-level Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> One of the more famous guys. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, before we go. Uh, Quitting time. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we've got some tickets I want to give away. But I want to say uh, thanks to Kyle for stopping by. It's great to see you. Yes, thanks Kyle, very me, funny. Yeah. And yeah. Um, it's cool about these international tours you're doing. Kuala Lumpur. Is there, just was, that yes a, was that a vacation everything. or was that a comedy no, I went, club? I went and did, I did shows in China and Kuala Lumpur, China, before they put the lockdown on. And is it, these are just obviously English-speaking clubs. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm fluent in Cantonese. How dare you think he doesn't speak Cantonese? Did you, well, before we go, real quick story. Denying my Asian heritage over here? I can't believe it. <laughs>